I think a lot of people confuse our dreams and our desires with our calling. And I'm a firm believer that your calling does not come from your passion in life. Your calling comes from your pain. If you want to know what makes you unique and what makes you significant and what makes you different from 7 billion other people on this planet, it's the thing that you find in your pain, your worst pain, and obviously your attitude towards it and how you overcome it. So it, it took me a very, very long time to really, really understand that my calling was not to become this world-class actor and, and be on stage and entertain people. But God took me to a place where he's given me a profile to help people with problems with addiction and uh, similar stuff, similar pains and similar situations. So um, it's a very hard and difficult thing because it might not be uh, affiliated or connected with finances and whether you're going to be financially free one day and am I going to achieve everything that I want to achieve in, in life. And because I'm such a result-driven, goal-driven person, I think my greatest challenge is to know when to run after the vision or a dream and when to just wait and sit for God to open the doors. Because often God gives us an instruction or a vision or a dream and then we go, geez, God, that's freaking amazing. I'm going to do it. I'm going to run. And then we run and we go. And when we get there, it's just a complete and utter mess and a complete failure. And um, we rock up there and we say, God, but what now? And he says, listen, Heike, I told you we're going to go this way, but not now. The time wasn't ready. So I think often because of um, we live in a world where there's instant gratification and, and success driven and all of that stuff, we, we sometimes just miss the plot because we're impatient. Your calling comes from your pain. Go find it. Have an attitude towards it to build on it and, 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 and heal from it and really add value to other people's lives. Find your passion. Make sure it's in line with God's will for you. Sit with God. Spend some time with Him and just be freaking awesome. God loves you. doesn't matter how imperfect you think you might be or perfect you think you might be. He's always there for us and He's just amazing.